so many people, and I'm going to include myself, who uh, feel like, oh my God, I don't want to make a mistake. Yeah. I, I want to be an ally. I want to move the piece forward. I want to be the solution and not part of the problem. But I'm terrified of making a mistake. Mm -hmm. And that leads to, I think, a paralysis mm -hmm. that is not helping. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah. You know, and I, I, I like kind of using the term, you know, uh, co conspirators or accomplices. Uh, rather than allies, you know, uh, right. but those folks are the people who've made mistakes uh, and who've heard the feedback, learned and kept going, right? Um, that, that paralysis is, it's, you know, it's really, really, I think actually really selfish um, and, and incredibly unhelpful. You will, so the question isn't, what do I do if I say the wrong thing? It's what, when I do this or say the wrong thing, what's the best way for me to respond in that moment? You know, we're all going to mess up. And it's not just around race. Men are going to say the wrong thing to women. We're going to misgender people. We're all, you know, we are right. all going to do and say the wrong thing and cause someone harm so often in a way that we're absolutely not meaning to. And that's so often what people say is, well, that wasn't my intention. Like, right. well, I, I didn't mean that. I did, that wasn't my intention. But if, but if something that you do or say harms someone uh, and, and they let you know that, what you need to be able to do is listen to them and hear them and understand how you can do better the next time. You know, if, and if we just let that paralysis, uh, you know, take over and we just don't say anything, uh, you know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's part of the large systemic problem that we have. 